Hey, 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 you guys. Hey, everyone. Hi, hey, everybody. My name is Carla. This is my wonderful husband, Cyril. Oh, wonderful husband. This is my wonderful wife. Oh. Hey, everyone. We are here because, guess what? 21 days into the end of 2019. 21 days, y'all. I don't think y'all know how fast that's going to go by. But 21 days before we get to 2020, that means not only a year has gone by, but a whole decade. This is a monumental moment mm. for so many people. And, <clears throat> excuse me, did you hear me? <laughs> excuse me, sorry. But we need to go into 2020 with 2020 vision, amen? We need to be focused. That's a good vision. Yes, it is. 20. I mean, that's better than some people's vision. Yeah, you can't even see outside. Amen. From the house, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, you need to be right. You need to be able to have that 2020 vision. You need to be able to see physically, and mentally, and spiritually. Amen. Mm -hmm. 2020. 2020. That's the best of the best. Listen, 2019, whatever you had, whatever made you miserable, depressed, angry, Anything in 2018, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 2010. A whole decade is going by, you guys. That baggage, we are getting rid of it. And the message tonight is going to be raw and real, shift your heart. Raw and real, shift your heart. And I just want to say a quick prayer of the word. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for delivering this message to our hearts and our minds. Father, we ask that you continue to use us as your vessel and continue to speak through us and allow us to share with everyone your desires and your truth and your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Listen, we are in a society where everyone is constantly changing their appearance. Mm -hmm. Everyone's doing their hair. They were getting the eyelashes, and I'm kind of guilty of that. I get those little fake mink eyelashes. Yeah, I put I'm, about, them on I'm, about sometimes. Give, I'm about to give you a Botox. I'm about to make my lips. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. plastic surgery. But listen, everybody's getting right. Everybody's on that special diet. Everybody's looking good. But listen, what they're failing to fix is what is the root of the problem, right? It's your heart. We need to get it right, honey. 2019. Is ending in 21 days, and we are going to go into 2020 and be fulfilled and, and, and released and just free of any chains and bondages that are any scars that are on your heart. We are going to shift it out, we are going to get rid of it. Amen. He knew. Yes, oh, and you, man. it's time for a deliverance, y'all. We yes. need. We need a deliverance. We need a change. And I know some of y'all are probably getting ready to click the video off because you're like, deliverance? Oh, no. She's getting ready to get all churchy on me. But let me tell you something. That's the problem. You are afraid of church you're, because you're afraid of what religion has either done to you, what scarred your heart, whatever has come your way that someone has told you, or maybe you have been wronged at the church before someone is like, oh, you're going to go on a slip and slide to hell for your actions. But let me tell you something. I serve. I don't know what God they serve, but I serve a God of redemption. Amen. Uh, the owner of heaven and earth. Yes. The creator of all of things. It. And not only the creator is, of all of us, right? Of all things. Yeah. <laughs> the land, sea, water, and above. Yeah. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. But listen, he is a God of redemption. And not only is he a God of redemption, he is a God of supplication, okay? Yes. So when I speak of deliverance, I mean we need to deliver yourself from that depression, that anxiety, that hurt, that heartache. Um, because what's going on, that anger, that racism, anything that is in your heart, we need to free it before 2020. So every day you need to cast something out. You need to really work on your on changing yourself before this new decade. Anger, bitterness, yes. hatred. Listen, all the unforgiveness, all yes. the everything listen, negative. Listen, God is not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. If you want to be miserable, boo, you stay miserable. But I'm telling you, God don't want you to be miserable. No, I'm, he I'm don't. Boo -boo. Honey, boo boo child, right? <laughs> <laughs> so many people are mad at the church and at God and at everybody because they had in their, in their mind this, this perfect picture when they were going up. 
that little honk honk squeak squeak that's Bruno y'all know Bruno he's got to be in almost in every video so he's fine but anyways uh you know everybody had this perfect I mean I'm guilty of it too when I was little I was like oh I want this beautiful house I want this big beautiful wedding dress I want this 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 right but life comes life changes and things happen and maybe you don't have that perfect image anymore because your reality is no longer that mm -mm. maybe you're looking on facebook or instagram and you're seeing everybody in these perfect bodies they just had three babies and now they're back to a size zero and you're like wow and then you're looking at your buddy that you went to high school with and he's driving this tesla tesla <laughs> and you're over here in a hoopty you know and listen I get it. I've been there. I've done that. But I'm here to tell you, we're going to shift your heart. Yes. Because if it happened to me, it can, and happen, to anyone. It can happen to anyone, yes. and God can redeem me, can redeem you, because yes, we are redeemed, mm -hmm. amen, he can redeem you. But listen, it's going to take some work on your e and, and effort on your part, okay? So we need you to stop you looking. Want, God wants to hear it. Yes. Talk to him. But first, you gotta stop. You gotta stop getting on on social media. It's okay to get on there, but don't get on there and like look for validation. Don't be posting all these these pornographic pictures or these videos of of just rants of angry rants and stuff, and and think that you're gonna get a ton of likes. And maybe you do one day. But the next day, next you, day you don't. Be like, oh. And so then you get more mad and more bitter. Or maybe you feel like, oh, they don't like me. Maybe they don't like my hair. So maybe I need to go out and change myself for the next picture, the next video. Listen, you matter. You matter. God loves you. You. Not what you are trying to be. Not what you hoped you had been. But he loves you for who you are. Oh, he, yes. you might be stuck right now. You might be, you might not even have a job right now. You might not even have a car. You might be homeless. Mm -hmm. You might be on drugs right now. You might be uh, an escort or doing whatever you can to get no, money right super now. Super old. Yeah, I mean, but old. let me tell you something. God, a drug dealer. God wants to hear from you. Yeah. Okay, it's in your heart. We know it's in your heart mm -hmm. because it was in my heart. Okay, it was in my heart. All right, everyone has a past. If that God can redeem as a person myself, as as I was back then, as I was in 2000, 2004, I was just it's by His grace I'm here, I'm here today. Mm -hmm. You know, it's by His grace. He forgives me. Listen. He redeemed me. Oh my goodness, yes, he did. Amen to that. And Man. I'm so thankful. Because let me tell you, he redeemed me. I should I tell him? Should we get raw? Let's do it. Should we get raw and Red. real? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get raw and real. Mm -hmm. Y'all, what you see right now is not who I was. What, 15, 20 years That's ago. the redeeming face. <laughs> Amen. This is the That's this the is redeeming the, This is the body shop. of Christ right now. <laughs> 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 Listen, let me tell you something. I, I, I sell drugs and, and when I mean by drugs, I don't mean like cocaine and you know, all that crazy stuff. Thank but, God I didn't know you back then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. I sold weed and, and I'm not talking about a little bit of weed. I sold pounds. And didn't nobody know but a few people because that's how I ran, okay? Um, a few people came to my house. I let them in. I let them see a little bit. But those are my close, close people that I had really close in my house. Trusty. My trusty. And, and I'm telling you, like, like two people. Like, I, I didn't even trust <coughs> my family, you know. And the, even my family didn't know what I was doing. I kept everything quiet from a lot of people because I was living a double life. I was chasing the money. I was trying to chase what I felt in my head was my Double dream. 007. Yes. I was moving pounds of weed. I would go and get a U-Haul and I would take it in to an undisclosed location 
in Eastern Kentucky and I would go and get it filled up and I would bring it home without getting caught. And then I would have runners run it. And then I had guns. Yeah. And yes, you do. I had lots of stuff. And I hurt a lot of people. I shot at a lot of people. I did a lot of bad things. You hurt a lot of people. I did. I did. I hurt a lot. I, I you never. You destroyed a lot of people. Yeah. 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 I didn't kill nobody. No, you didn't kill nobody. But um, life goes on, right? But listen, the only reason why I can sit here today and say what I'm saying now is because I know what you're going through. I had a hard time going to church. I had a hard time. Uh, matter of fact, I did go to um, a church one time. I'm not going to name the church, but I went to the church and I told them everything I said. And it was a Baptist church. And you know what they told me? They criticized you. Oh, yeah, I was criticized. Call you filth. And they told me I had to leave. They call you the devil's And devil. I'm sitting there broken, wow. crying. Some church in we need have of God, right? So if you find yourself going to those churches, please listen to me. Don't go back to those churches. Find a better church. Find us. Come to us. Let us get you in a good church. A church that is going to go strictly by the Bible, but at the same time that God loves you and, 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 he's gonna, and, he's, and the church is going to help deliver you. The church that will receive you as a person yes. you are. Because the, the church is not going to judge you. Not judging you for what, what you did in the past or whatever you've done. Mm -hmm. But they will receive you the way you were and transform I mean, you obviously, to become a weapon. Yeah, obviously, you, you, you can't keep doing the things that you're doing that are wrong. You're going there, and we understand that some things may take a little time. Like some people might be on drugs, so we mm -hmm. understand that that's a process. The process it's, of, if you get cut off cold yeah. turkey, we got we got to take you to the hospital because, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to have withdrawal symptoms. But back to the message. Listen, God loves you, and you are worthy Okay, I don't want people to feel like you're not qualified. I have been told I was overqualified. I've been told I was not qualified. You know, I even had someone the other day tell That's me. That's a lot of stuff you hear in life. Oh, you're not qualified because you don't speak English very well. Yeah. Oh, because you're not from here. You have an accent. Oh. But he speaks like seven <laughs> languages. But who speaks that many languages? I don't want nobody to qualify me, but my daddy, mm -hmm. my creator, my father. Hey, he knows me. He loves me. He yes. forgives me. So we're going to keep it raw and keep it real. Because we are going to shift our hearts. And part of being my process of being raw and real was humbling myself. Mm. Submitting myself. Yes. I got to the point where I was in a marriage for 12 years. Not to this wonderful man. My ex-husband. And let me tell Not you, me. some churches will condemn you. Oh, you, you've had a divorce. No, we don't want you. And Lord, have mercy. If you're a pastor and you've been divorced, some churches, they'll be like, oh, no. She's, she's got the devil written all over her. Yep. But let me tell you something. I had, my husband was cheating on me. I had the girl come to my house pregnant. I said, oh, okay. Well, that's a red flag right there. Because the whole time he was cheating on me, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, no, because you know why? I was trying to make... Trying to make that that's, that picture that in my mind that I had. Oh, I want a, the marriage. I want the house. I want the perfect ma the husband and kids and blah, blah, blah. But guess what? God God was giving me red flags and I was not listening to him. And I was I was hurting and I was suffering. And so finally when that girl came to the house pregnant, I said, mm, okay. But you know, he came back crawling to me. I moved out. I got a divorce. I left everything behind. And... I said, enough's enough. He came crawling to me. I love you, I love you. I was like, nope, red flag, red flag. I'm gone, I'm done. So then, here I am broken. No car. All my friends are doing amazing. Married, pictured life, kids, everything. And here I am. I went from an $80,000 job, having two cars paid for, having this, I was doing all this hustle stuff on the side. But the whole time, God was shaping me and molding me, and I stopped doing the drugs. I stopped right in the nick of time, right before the feds came and raided my house. And they didn't raid the house for me. They raided the house for 
the person I was living Sorry, with. Sorry, guys. Gotta be okay? So that was another testimony to me that God had my back. God knew, hey, you got to get clean. You got to stop selling these drugs. You got to get a, 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 a correct job. And, and the job I started at was not was like a $9 an hour job. I kept praying to God, God, this this I'm working 40 hours a week and I'm barely even I'm barely ma making ends yep. meet. And yep. he said, that's okay, stay right here. Stay in this job right here because guess what? In a, in a month or so, you you keep putting out your resume. Somebody's, another job's gonna come. I got another job offering, not even two weeks later, and I was working for a, another company and they made me a supervisor. I went from making $9 an hour to making two thousand dollars a week and I worked there for almost a year my divorce was finally finalized and I worked there for a year with this I worked there for a year with this uh, this man never had my eyes set on nobody but the whole time I had been praying to God God you know you you got me a job now I'm still living in the ghetto in a one-bedroom apartment mm. You know, I want to go out and spend my money and get a new car and get a house. But God said, no, you stay in the ghetto. You stay making this money and you stay at this job. And in my heart, I said, well, God, please, you know, I really want a man. I want a husband. I want, I want a man that's not going to beat me, God. I want a guy that's not on drugs, a guy that can have a job. God, I just want a guy that can hold me and love me. And, and, and on the other side, I was praying the same thing. Jesus. And I need a woman who's going to love me, the person I am, not a woman who's going to love me for what I have, you know, but God does listen. God was speaking to me, and God told me, Carla, the man is ready, and now you're finally ready. I was like, I'm ready. Well, okay, I'm ready. He said, the next man that comes through your door is the man for you. That's, I'm sending him to you. Little did I know, I had been working with this man for over a year. I was his supervisor. Never had my eyes on anybody. I was just focused on my work, trying to do what was right because I had lived in shame. I had lived in guilt. I was criticizing myself mm. all those years for the pain, the things I was doing that were wrong, selling the weed, hurting people, shooting at people, being just malicious, cussing people out. I was shifting my heart. I was, God was- Who you money? God was Where my money? God was molding me. And 30 seconds later, in came this beautiful man. Wow. That was and me, I guess. This was him. and wait. I guess God was talking to me then, too. Now it's, you know? it's been 15 years, y'all. And we're still together. And we're happy. We're amazing. We pray. He's a godly man. He's a family man. He's not a drug addict. Ooh, He's not an abuser. Family God, man. God answered my prayers. He is a God of supplication, yes. a God of redemption. Yes. Listen, when... Because in life, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to be sufficient. Mm -mm. Insufficient. Insufficient. You, you, you pray a God who's, who's mighty, who's mm -hmm. powerful, mm -hmm. who's glorious. You know... If you want a relationship in whatever whatever situation, your husband is telling you you will never amount to anything, or your wife is telling you you will never see your kid again. Mm -hmm. But remember, you gotta look on tight. the other side. Don't cuss her out. Yep. Just hold tight. God sometimes let me can change the just situation. a quick thing. Sometimes uh, God wants you to stay still. God wants you to stay in that current position because. He's, he's working. Mm. When you think God's not working, he's still working. When you don't hear from God, he's still working, yes. okay? Let me tell you something. God sent his son, okay? Jesus went from the throne to the cross. Mm. And when Jesus said, it is finished, it is finished. To be humiliated. To be beaten. It is finished. That means 
Jesus was broken down. Jesus was beaten. Mm. Jesus was shamed, mm. criticized, humiliated. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Everything you've been. God Almighty. Everything I've been. Yes. Everything you've been. He was broken. But let me tell you something. There's something special and amazing about being broken mm. and raw. I sat in the ghetto in my one bedroom apartment. I had no furniture. I sat on the floor. Now, I went from an $80,000 job. I had great furniture, cars paid off, everything. I had $100,000 in a safe, but things got taken away just like poof. And when you find yourself sitting on the floor and you don't have any family around and you have no friends because you've already, with the friends that I thought I had, I had to cut them off. Yeah. God's telling me you need to cut these people out of your life Gotta because these ain't your real yeah. these ain't your real friends. They're using you for the money. They're using you for the the drugs, the guns, the whatever. They're not your real friends. They're not giving you nothing. They're gonna end up turning over on you, in which they did. They turned over on my roommate. So the feds came to my house and I was clean, literally clean. I had gotten out probably about five months before. I had no guns in my house. He had the guns. I had no, no extra cash, no mm -hmm. drugs, no nothing. Matter of fact, I was working as a supervisor. I was having a good job. I was stable. It was my roommate who went to federal prison. I mm. have to tell you, God is amazing. Listen, when he says it's finished, it is finished. In Philippians 4.19, God will supply all your needs. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I give him all the glory, all the praise, mm. because I have to humble myself. I was naked. I was raw. And when I say naked, y'all, I don't mean physically naked. I mean spiritually naked. I was broken. I was crying. I was desperate. When you hit rock bottom, you find out who your true rock is. And that rock is God. Yeah. And when you hit yes. rock bottom, there's nowhere else to go only up you don't look vertical you don't look horizontal no more you're mm -hmm. not looking out here to see who's going to help you you start looking up and god i need you god help me right now and god is listening god is listening to you right now god is hearing you cry yes but he wants you to keep crying out to him because he is molding you he is telling you listen I need you to start listening to me yeah. because I'm shifting you. I'm going to take you on this journey. And the journey that I take you on, you, you might not like it. You yeah. might cry. Some it's going to hurt gonna you. You're, you're going to be, be, you're gonna be cutting some friends yeah. off. You may cut some family members off. You may be alone on this journey. But when I take you, when I take you, to a greatness plan. you're going to have more than enough. Mm. You're going to be an overflow. Oh, God, we serve. You're going to have an overflow. Yes. And you're going to be redeemed. Mm -hmm. And people are going to look at you and they're going to be like, oh no. Wow. She can't preach. Because mm -hmm. she, she used to sell drugs. Yep. <laughs> he can't preach. Because he used to go he, party. He, he had all kinds yeah. of girlfriends yeah. and doing nasty <laughs> stuff and partying. Oh, she can't. She can't preach. She can't have that job because uh, she, was she, smoking used to, weed. she used to mess around with her ex-boss. Mm. Listen, you're going to have people come against you. The enemy is going to come against you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to get coming and keep coming and keep coming. Because you know why? The enemy don't need to come around someone who's already lost. He don't want a weak soul. That enemy wants to come after a strong spirit. Yeah. Someone he knows That's that he's it. got something to gain from. That's it. He wants you because you are God's reward. You know? God worked you. God knew you. God formed you. Mm. Okay? Amen. Not the devil. Yes. You are letting the devil form you mm -hmm. because you're allowing it. But I know in your heart, you're ready to shift your heart. Yes. You're ready to get raw and real, and you're ready to shift your heart right now. And right now, you got 21 days. Make this the 21 days before the end 
of the year, the end of the world, whatever it takes for you to get it through your head. Don't make the wrong 21 days and no, six feet honey, under. keep cutting them off. Yeah. Keep keep taking the things out of your heart. Make amends with with your husband. Make amends with your daughter, your son. Try to get off the alcohol and drugs. If you have a if you have your ex. Uh, baby mama or ex-wife, ex-husband. Forgiveness is a, is a small word, but it means a lot. And you don't have to be best friends. You don't have to talk yeah. no more, but you need to forgive. Hey, honey, I'm sorry for what I put you through. You need to forgive to heal for you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So this is a part of healing for you, mm. your process of healing for you, yes. not for the other person. But this is 21 days to the end of this year, the end of a decade, end of 10 years. What are you going to do in the next 10 years? Are you going to keep being miserable? Are you going to keep crying? Are you going to keep worrying about how many people like you or don't like you? Deliverance. Come to us for deliverance. We will set you up. We will pray with you. We will do whatever you need. We, we will bring you to our church. We will bring you to the church. I'm telling you. There is a judgment-free zone. That you, our judgment church is free. an amazing place. Judgment-free. Listen. It's a comf comfortable place to be. One thing that is, our, before we go, is powerful. In Proverbs 18, 21, the death and life is in the power of the tongue. Wow. These, this generation right now is out of control. Mm. From the songs to the entertainment we see on yes. TV to you get on the street, Video the highway, games. people are cussing you out. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's e I've even heard mothers say things to their kids in the store or wherever. Death and life. Listen, you can sit there and curse somebody out with your mouth or you can sit there and bless them, bless them with <laughs> You can bless yourself. Somebody cussing you out. God bless you. Yes. But <laughs> the biggest part of what I'm trying to say is we're here about shifting your heart, our hearts. So not so much about others. It's about us, okay? If someone's cussing you out, do you want to give them your reaction, your heart? You might want to say something, but close your mouth. So do you think we are, we are perfect in the other ones? Or? No. You know, sometimes we run through those temptations, you know. No. Somebody cut you off no. and oh, flip you off. Honey. Somebody just, like, call your name and, you Well, know. that happened the other day when we left church. Remember yeah. that, that lady cut us off, almost mm -hmm. hit the car, and I had kids in the car. And I was like, uh-uh. Part of me was, like, getting ready to unleash. But I was like, God took the air out of my... It was like, uh-uh. Because... <laughs> He was laughing. He's like, okay. I said, ah, oh, thank you, I was Jesus. Like, uh, 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 I was like, thank be you, a cut Jesus. Fight. <laughs> I said, thank you, Jesus, for taking my breath. Cause let me tell you. Oh but listen, my God. shift your heart. Let's get raw and real, okay? You can start prophesying over yourself. You don't need someone to come and prophesy over you. If you don't feel like you are strong enough, then yes, reach out. And we will have people come and, and prophesy with you and help you and, and, and help deliver you. I am new person. I'm better. I am healed. Yes. I'm, I, I, I am blessed. I am I am loved. I just keep prophesying. Listen, put yourself. your hands on your yes. head and be like, Heavenly Father, right now, I need you to get my mm. mind right. I need you to purify my thoughts because this time's at my work, I just want to get crazy mm. on my lunch hour because oh, Betsy somebody. next door yes. is just putting all these papers on my desk. When I come back from lunch, I got more work than I can handle to finish my day. Listen, you just start prophesying on yourself. And those and the devil's going to be using those weak-minded. They're going to keep pushing, pushing those people to pushing you. Mm -hmm. But... It takes the biggest strong to the the bigger person to 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 say I will pray for you. Listen today, Boo Boo. Twenty one days. Twenty one days. Yes. Listen. That's a perfect vision. Twenty twenty. This is the time for you to get raw and real with yourself yes. and with God. And you need to shift your heart. Each day, what I want you to do is write something down that's bothering you. Whether it's a family member, or it's something that you want to do, or something you can't do, write it down. Mm -hmm. And start saying, I can do this, God. I'm going to do this. 
and start getting up. Stand up. Start yes. moving your yeah. feet. That illness, that disease that's been holding you down, that arthritis, the cancer, start proclaiming against mm -hmm. it. Listen, I was sick. I had cancer. And I sat here, and there's days I couldn't even get up off the couch and off the bed. But I said, God, you don't give me strength to move. I need to use the bathroom. I, I, I'm not going to crawl to this bathroom because it's going to take me 10 times longer to get there. I need get, to go to church. I, I need to go to church. I had to have people come and help physically get me dressed and take me to church, but I still got up and moved. It was not something I, I was wholeheartedly wanting to do, but I did it. And when I did it, my heart was fulfilled. And I started finding I could start moving my body more. And some of my pain started to go away. But listen, when you start proclaiming on your life, you start speaking positivity into your life, and you stay away from the drama, you stay away from all the negativity, and you start aligning yourself with God, let me tell you, things are going to start changing yes. in your life. Right. Not only is your heart going to get right, your mind's going to get right, your body is going to be right. Yes. Okay? Yes. You, it might take you a little while longer because some people have some serious illnesses and it takes them a little longer to get rid of those. But you speak on it every day. Mm -hmm. God, you are healing me. God, yes. I am getting stronger. I am healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. And you keep proclaiming Amen. it. You got a kid that's sick. God, you heal my daughter. You mm -hmm. heal my son. Yep. He's sick right now with strep throat. He's sick right now with asthma. You're going to heal him. I don't... You're going to heal this asthma. There's going to be no more. No more medication. No more no medication. More. you got to speak on it. Don't sit there and be like, oh, my baby. Yes, as mothers, it hurts. It hurts to see your baby. I, my daughter broke her arm, and I thought I was going to die. I understand. But at the same time, you have to speak life into the situation. You have to speak positivity in the situation. That baby daddy that's not paying child support for the past 18 years, guess what? Speak life into the situation. God, forgive me for all the things I've said wrong. God, forgive me. I know him and I will never be best friends. I wanted to kill him a time or two, maybe ten times. Yeah. But listen, Lord, please heal my heart. I need to be raw and real with you right mm -hmm. now. And I need to shift my heart because I need to be right. Or maybe call him. Hey, I forgive you. Well, let's do baby steps first because you know that's a touchy situation but yes if, if you can if, if your you, heart feels it yes if, if your, your heart, heart feels, feels it like, yeah. but sometimes it's taking the baby steps mm -hmm. listen baby steps baby steps get your heart right shift it shift it y'all because this world is getting cruel this world is getting it i mean we got teenagers now that personally d disrespect everybody oh, yeah. And there's images and things. The media is just putting all this garbage out, this these violence and everything. And the kids are mimicking it. Even now, the adults are, are it's like we're getting brainwashed, you all. And we need to get back to the basics, and that is love. Shift your heart, okay? And right now, I just want to... I just want to say a quick prayer so we can go ahead and close. Actually, I'm going to let you pray, baby, because you're so good at that. Sure. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, as you, ra you raised us from, from the dirt, mm -hmm. you washed us and purified us. Keep Even we live in a sinful world, Father God, mm -hmm. we still get tempted every day. Mm -hmm. But you never stop forgiving us. Father God, I pray for any brothers and sisters watch this video yes. Lord this 2020 Lord there will be 2020 of change yes. 2020 of 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 transformation mm -hmm. you let your Holy Spirit Father God to touch you let Father God your people to be angry for you Father God to, to, to call up your name Father God I know you send the revelation you stand at the door and knock it if real. the people that listen and open the door, Father mm -hmm. God, you touch them. Purif hey, Father God, in every problem they have right mm -hmm. now, Lord, shift you shift the heart. You transform them. You change them, Father mm -hmm. God. We serve such a graceful God, such a merciful God, yes. such, such a love and kind God. It's you. Father God, we give you thank and glory. We give you thanks and glory, Father God, in every aspect, Father God. Father God, continue to bless my wife. 
continue to bless myself and my kid. You bless our church, our pastors. You bless our brothers and sisters on the other side. You fill them up, Father God, with the fire and power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Lord, I pray this 2020 will be the year of miracles. Yes. In the name the of Jesus. The decade of redemption. Yes. Change us all. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We love you. We love, we love you, you. We love you. Remember. Any comments, positive, negative, we take it. Yeah, you tonight know. wasn't really much about, um, you know, teaching so much as it was about sharing. us being raw and real yes. and sharing. And um, I love you guys. We, we love, love you, you guys. We love you Keep guys. Keep subscribing. Yes. Share the video with your family and friends. And support the kingdom of God. Mm, Amen. Amen. In 2020, 2020 vision. Yes. The year. You see better. Yes. Yeah. And 2020 is the decade of you redemption. You hear better. Yeah. Yes. Amen. May God bless we you all. We love you all. Bye. Good night and good morning.